The documentary that Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle released on Netflix received scathing reviews from media outlets all around the world. The broadcast of the first three hours of the six-hour-long series prompted scathing reviews and commentary from members of the media and television critics. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been characterized by Laurent Sagalovic, a contributor to the French online magazine Slate, as nothing but a vague actress and a fallen prince, both united behind the idea of selling to the highest bidder the story of their undying vacuousness. In addition to this, he questioned why we are forced to put up with the never-ending story of these lovebirds whose intellectual horizons, if they exist at all, are limited to what font to use on Instagram. The Sussexes astonish us again again with exactly how restricted their perception of their celebrity is, how pinched and unimaginative their presence on the world stage has become, observed Daniel D'Addario of Variety magazine in the United States. He wrote, They may have shed their responsibilities to the crown, but they're still in a kind of service. There's an air of duty about the entire enterprise of Harry and Meghan as if they're honor-bound to keep reciting their personal story until we eventually lose interest. While they may no longer be directly accountable to the crown, he did note that they are still in a kind of service. Harry and Meghan seem to be telling their narrative as though they had a moral obligation to do so until we stop caring.